Now that we got our preliminary numbers down, let's go ahead and make some chips. I'm going to use on the throttle body opening here. Okay guys, so still working on this manifold. Um, port number two is roughed in and it's pretty much um, done. I took some measurements here on uh, actually both of these and um, both measurements come in close to this. So what I'm going to do now is just um, sanding rolls with this and um, with these two and uh, finish that up with just sanding rolls because the measurements are pretty close to this original one here. And then the last one I still have to do is this runner number four here. So um, I still might need to take uh, a decent amount of material out of this one. And um, so we'll go ahead and, and get that knocked out. But also what I did finish is the opening here. This is now at 65 millimeters. And um, so you saw me using that uh, cross buff two and a half inch it's really not that great it's a um, it's way too slow even at an 80 grit wheel it's way too slow so I went back to using the uh, cutting teeth here on this and um, it went much faster I got it out to about I don't know 64 and a half or so um, and then I finished it up that extra uh, half a millimeter or so with the uh, with the flap wheel so kind of time consuming but I was also able to get down in there I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not but I was able to get that flap wheel all the way down in there so clean it up the inside too now one thing when you're doing this is that you can see here there are shavings everywhere 
So this is really messy. It produces a ton of shavings, um, especially when using your, your cutting bit here. But when using the sanding roll, like I did on the opening here to finish this, it just produces a very fine aluminum powder and it just, it gets everywhere. So, um, definitely use a, um, definitely use a, uh, a breathing apparatus, a mask of some sort to block this aluminum dust so you're not breathing it everywhere. It's, uh, it's definitely not good for you, but I mean, you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, there you go. It's just caked everywhere, so. We're almost done. Once I get this final port finished up, um, I have to clean down in there. So I got to get my scrub brushes out and clean all this, clean all these ports out and uh, clean out the EGR port because there's just metal shavings and everything. And of course, if you put this on without it clean, it's all that's going into your motor and it's going to destroy it. So let's get back to work. grip flap wheel. So it's, uh, it's pretty much done. I don't have that super smooth finish like other people might, might have, but I can get a little bit smoother. One thing I did is I took a 120 grit sanding roll and then I cut this off here. So as it spins around, just the edge of it will be hitting this and it will make it smoother. So 
try to get a before. So there's a before and I'll come back. I'll hit it with this and show you what it looks like afterwards. Kind of see the difference there. A little bit smoother. I guess some people might take a dingleberry hone or something to this to get way down in that runner and to actually get that nice smooth polished look, but that's good enough. I mean, that's a 120 grit finish. So I'll finish the rest of these. So this one's pretty much done. I'll finish the rest of these up here real quick and I'll show you the final results. Okay guys, here are the final numbers. I won't really go into it if you want to look at them. Just go ahead and pause the video. There's my workstation. Uh, you can see there's a lot of aluminum everywhere. And that's just what was not on the intake. So a whole bunch just fell out of the intake when I turned it upside down. But it's not here. So, man, <clears throat> like I said, get a breathing apparatus if you do this, guys. A little bit of Krylon metallic gold. Let's do it. There you go guys all done so that's the uh, Krylon gold I was talking about so kind of kind of hard to see the color difference here but it's not a yellow gold but it's more like a silverish gold kind of see there maybe the difference so it's all done guys so hope you enjoyed it Stay tuned for more videos.